Hey, what's going on, guys? I do make side videos, and it's just playing name here. Welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. So last off, we helped the girl, and we're going to to the town with her. Awesome! So, I fixed the flat tire and went with her into the town. This is the residential area on the opposite bank of the lake to the windmill hill, where we just were now. Here is good enough. <laughs> I'll take you back to your home. No, <laughs> I'll take you back to your home. No, it's okay. It seemed like she was going to say, but, but, she stopped speaking. For a girl who was walking with a walking disability, just because she was shown a little kindness, she can't just bring some guy she hardly know, knows back to her house. Thank you, because of you, I was saved. Don't mention it. If your tire ever goes flat again, call me anytime. I only said it as a joke, but she blushed and looked down nervously. Whack. Uh, uh, thank you. If you're thanking me, you already did that just now. It, it was quite fun spending time with a friend. Oh, friend? <laughs> yeah, me too, and I saw something unusual too. The glider that was just that we had just seen was now flying in the air above the hill where we just were now. So did I. That's the first time I've seen a real one. I now have some wonderful memories. She murmured quietly and giggled. Coupled with her cute and dainty appearance was her lovely smile. Well then, I better get going. Okay, okay, take care. Sure. The wheels squeak as she pushed a wheelchair along with her hands down an empty street. I think my book okay, may be a bit, a bit of a problem. I think that's better. <laughs> Behind her, the duck wearing hat waddled along with her. Hey. She stopped her hands and turned to face me. See you again. She looked troubled and embarrassed, then left without saying anything. She sure was cute. Where is she from? Her appearance was quite graceful, as if she were the daughter of a rich family. A little lady with a duck? It was an odd combination, but they seemed strangely familiar with one each other. Okay, I better go. Where to, though? I don't even remember what we're doing here. Now I'm going to f Oh yeah, we're going to school. Now, now I'm going to the dormitory called Flying Fish Manor. Due to certain circumstances, that place will be my new home. While walking along a gently sloping street, I looked up at the clouds moving above. Is that what he said? Uh, moving above. Floating so freely like that, they reminded me of the glider. There's the distant silhouette and had, had left a mysterious impression on me. It's such a beautiful area, actually. There's windmills everywhere. It's really nice. It's pretty sick, honestly. Alright. We're in a beautiful looking uh, dorm. It's actually really pretty. <sighs> I finally made. I finally found it. This place. Is this it? Is it really? <laughs> he spent all day looking for it. Flying fishman. Well, there's such a big difference between between its appearance appearance and its name. That's like giving a tough looking Japanese Tosa a name like Lily. At least call it Mansion Do Flying Fish or something. It's huge. Is that why you? <sighs> That's why even though I looked everywhere, I still couldn't find it because I thought not I'm mean, it's not this place I completely ruled it out and then walked around and around this area. Wow Could have at least checked even now. I still can't believe it. So I'll check the sign one more time flying fish manor There's no doubt about it. Even so I'm still not entirely convinced. I mean, I know a lot about this place Spooky scary horror stories it's an old European style building on the shore of the lake, and because its appearance is a little spooky, when we were kids we called this building the Witch's Mansion. As a test of courage, we'd often sneak into the yard. Well now you're about to live in it. We just thought of it as a rich person's residence, but it's a dormitory. Kifu Private Academy student dormitory. I can't just stand here in shock. <sighs> okay. I took a deep breath and stood up straight. Ooh, walk in. What's... Whoa. May I come in? That's really fashionable. Lightly dressed girl. That's a great name. Oh, a, vis a visitor? Whoa. Whoa there. What? What? Suddenly a girl in her under armor appeared before me, and an expression that I had tired so hard to straighten out crumbled instantly. May I ask your name? Uh, um, uh, why? She's the one who should be worried about without having been seen, but why was I the one feeling under pressure? We don't accept door-to-door -door sales. What's up, Kanacha? Huh? Looks like we have a visitor. 
A visitor? What? What? A, a guy? From inside the other girls that this one was wearing clothes showed her face, but when she saw me, she let out a hysteric scream. At the same time, the glasses she was wearing looked like they were about to slip off. Kanacha, it close, it close. Hmm? What is it? Another girl appeared. <laughs> oh, you could have. This is a no boy just saw Kanacha. <laughs> <It's the lady. laughs> what did you say? Uh -huh. uh, no, no, what? No, no, that's not it. Just like receiving a salvation from God, my cell phone phone rang. The word mom was shown on the display. I excuse me a minute. I just unplugged my phone, by the way. <laughs> I quickly pressed the button to enter the call while swiftly escaping, finding an escape route. Mom! I thought you'd be at the fly stream fish manor and things wouldn't have calmed down by now. What's it like? Well, the place is full of girls. Well, the place is full of girls! And it's... <laughs> I'm sorry for plugging my phone with the sounds, but... <laughs> it's all one in their underwear. Uh, of course it is. That place... Yeah? Yeah. I had checked the sign over and over, but then I noticed something small written in the corner. That's not small. You're blind. I should have been able to read that, actually. I can read I can read that sign right Or You guys can't see my mouse. I can read the, the top left sign. Or... Oh, didn't I tell you? Did you do that on purpose? What is this? What kind of mother are you? From now on, I'm gonna be in this place's door, mother, aren't I? It's fine. The owner and the boarding students have all accepted it. Just now, they were screaming at the top of their lungs. Oh, did you go into the change room? By Your mother, man. <laughs> that, that damn mother of mine. She's enjoying the situation. <laughs> Creek. The front door opened slightly, and the girls from just now were peeking through. What's happening, Sanacha? Uh, he's still here. Uh, um... When I called out to them, like a surprise turtle, they pulled their faces back inside and shut the door. What do you mean they accepted it? I don't see any acceptance. <laughs> what should I do about this? Ugh. Hey, how bad can it be? Well, this is the situation. Huh? Oh, so you're the new dorm mother? While I was speaking, explaining the situation, the boarding student, apart from the girl in her underwear, who was putting on, who, who was putting on some clothes, surrounded me but kept her distance. And this is, this is no good. A boy being a dorm mother, being the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory. That's all right, isn't it? From behind the underwear girl, she was wearing clothes now, but they were still pretty gaudy. What's gaudy mean? Were some girls who looked like they were hiding, but they were nodding and agreeing. If nobody comes here, there will be a bigger problem. <laughs> yeah, that's right, but I just thought it would be someone older. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, there were now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to be the same age, or maybe you're younger than me. <laughs> Why is it always like that in Japanese stuff? They always go like Tsui, or something like that and sta for stare. Maybe it means stare. I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, oh, what is it? Did you say your name was Aoi? How old are you? Uh, I'm a student. I'm still a student. From tomorrow, I'll be going to Keifu Academy. I'm a second year. Eh, hey, so you're grade <laughs> below. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> 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 she said. What do you mean, hee <laughs> hee? The person who came to speak to all of you is my mother, and well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting this job as a dorm mother. My mother. Oh, I'm. Uh, what? I'm a student slash dorm mother? My mom has a job connected to a real estate, and her company manages this property. Well then, what should we do, Yika? Should we change? If that's the situation... The person who seemed the oldest said so, and the other people reluctantly nodded in agreement. This is just until the owner or caretaker comes back or he finds someone else. I apologize for the inconvenience, but for the time being, let's all try to get along. I feel like I'm reading a book more than acting. My bad. Once the conversation was over naturally, everyone left and went back to their yeah. rooms. Hey, I'm sorry. Anyone could be childish. And they got carried away in front of a young guy like you. Uh, I'm Kanako Shiguru. If you need anything, please ask me. Alright, cut. I'm um, back. I'm back. The caretaker's room is at the end of the corridor on the first floor. Thank you very much. Was that all of the boarding students? 
there's the underworld girl, Kanako, who is with me now. Yuka, the tall girl with the long hair, and Sana, the girl with the glasses. The timid one who came from the back is Ryoko. Those are hard to name. So many names. Oh, okay. I don't even remember the character we first met. <laughs> That's the four people altogether. Ah, well, there is one more person, but she's what you might call the reclusive type. I wonder if she'll come out of her room at some point. Oh, in other words, there are five borders in total. This building is pretty big, but there are only five people living here. Come to think of it, my mom did say there were quite a few empty rooms. It's old and a little far from school, so maybe it's not that popular. <sighs> I've worked up a sweat, so I'm gonna take another bath. Really? Anyway, the conversation ended well, so I'll call my mother to let her know. Panning B-roll shots? Yeah. <laughs> so in the end, we somehow work things out. Really? That's good. I'll tell you this now, though. Keep your hands off the girls. This mother is so, like, anime, mother stereotypical-ish kind of for a harem anime. Nevertheless... <laughs> what are you talking about, mom? Well, as long as it doesn't cause us any problems, it's okay. Oh, and also, I told you before, but one of them has a walking disability. Hot sun, hot hot. The 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 duck hot hot the sun. Suddenly, the sound of flapping wings came from down the hallway. Then a shrill voice <laughs> sounded up. <laughs> Wait, hot <laughs> Quack quack. Huh? Something big white came flying down the hallway, and behind it, up a breakneck speed. Oh oh oh! Was the girl in the wheelchair? Wait, you stupid dog! Get <laughs> oh, rip. The big white thing, which somehow seemed like a duck, was slapping his wings and food behind me. The girl in the wheelchair avoided all the obstacles in her path, in other words, me, and chased down the duck like a drifted racer. I was so overwhelmed by speed that I couldn't say anything. <laughs> I've got you, hat. Quack, quack. The girl in the wheelchair caught the duck at my feet and snatched away a small white cloth, possibly panties, from his beak. Jeez, you're always playing tricks. If you do it again, I'll turn you into a pecking duck. What's a pecking duck? Whack. The girl put the duck on her knee and lectured him. I remember seeing this that before. However, it's somehow a lot different compared to the image she had during the day. In the daytime, she seemed more dainty and delicate. However, her appearance was the same. It's not that often that you see such a pretty girl. Looks like your tire is in good condition. Oh, oh, she's gonna like turn red embarrassed and leave or something. She finally realized there was a guy standing there. Uh, uh. Hello, oi. Hello, oi. Are you listening? Uh, yeah, yeah, what is it? I was saying there's a disabled girl, so take good care of her. Sure, I got it. Okay, talk to you soon, mom. Beep. I replied as I ended the call. Oh, oh why are you? She got as far as saying that, but then she realized she still had the small cloth in her hand and tried to hide it by stuffing it under her backside. Uh, why are you here? He is the new door mother, Kotari Cha. Kanako, who was supposed to be taking a bath, poked her head out. Really? What do you mean? I heard. I hadn't heard about that. What is it? <laughs> My bad. Even if I tried to tell you, Kotari Chan, you'd hardly ever come out of your room. Y you mean the new door mother is a boy? He already forgot about him? Hey, hey, look, hey, look. It's what it felt like she was saying as relentlessly pointed at me. We already had this conversation a long time ago. The girl known as Gotori glared at Kanako like she was interfering. I'm the new dorm mother, Oi Minase. I'm Kotori Habane. I'm Kabane Kotori Des. Kotori seemed to meet my introduction with reluctance. This is Hata, but you already know the best. Hata turned to face me and flapped his wings. He's a clever duck. Are you really the new dorm mother? Her voice is like more strict. Yes, that's right. So are you against it? So you are against it? If she says that she doesn't like the fact the dorm mother, the girl's dormitory is guy, or the fact that we're the same age, there's nothing I can do about it. Kotori closed her eyes and quickly takes a deep breath as if trying to focus her mind. Kotori? Forget about what happened during that day. The day. During the day? Which part? As much as possible. That's that's right. If I had to say... She stopped talking and stared at Kanako, who was standing behind listening. 
kind of look as if she were saying, okay, okay, as she disappeared down the hallway. I... That I made a careless mistake and that I started crying. <laughs> oh. You're gonna go back to a scene of her crying. <laughs> the incident was quite startling and I remember it well. It's see To see a girl's tears from so close like that is something I don't experience very often. I don't know what she thinks about it, but those were tears were very beautiful. Aren't that kind of weird? Have you forgotten it? Uh, no, no, not yet. Forget about it right now. <laughs> Don't be so silly. When you say it like that, it just becomes more strongly engraved in my memory. Uh -huh. Look, you're new here, so don't you don't know even like this. I, Kotori straightened her back, composed her. <laughs> I should straighten my back too. Actually, that's really bad for me. Composed her expression and smiled. I swish with a natural gesture. She lifted her hair up. I don't. <laughs> What's a Lulu? Lulu. Uh, I just said it was a bit wrong, that's all. I still don't know what an allure is. Allure? I don't know. Oh, I've heard that word before. Uh, <laughs> okay, then. She so said that and then straightened her back and made a composed smile again. Okay, that's enough. I get it, alright? Uh. Total sundare right here. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a jerk. Nitpick your low life. <laughs> Katori used just about every insult there is, then turned her wheelchair around. Then she heard me to race back down the hallway and back into her room. Rag, rag. Along the way, Hats, who was who had been thrown off, chased after her and entered the room through a small door, maybe a special door for ducks, built into the bottom of the main door. I looked on I looked on in disbelief. I don't need to say this, but the dainty and delicate image that she had in daytime I completely crumbled away. A duckly bud was starting to begin to sprout and we shared a fleeting love. But the stars were bright that night. <laughs> cool allure, right? When I remember her lifting her hair and being so full of confidence, I feel like I could burst out laughing. She's so funny. From the beginning, everything had been so messed up. From tomorrow onwards, it looks like things will start getting interesting. I really felt that like that prediction would come true. And that's the end of this episode, I think. These episodes aren't that long. Because every chapter is quite short. Oh, Extend the little wings which fly in the sky entirely. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like if you liked it, dislike, just like it, comment down below if you want to see more. As always, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. I have no clue why my face is so red. It's probably the reflection. Yeah.